I'm gonna show you quickly how to calibrate Windows 11 Auto HDR. So what we're going to do first is we're going to turn on HDR on Windows by right click on the on the desktop we go to display settings we go to use HDR we turn that on and we turn on auto HDR so for supported games you're going to get amazing HDR and the way you're going to set that up depends on your TV so when we open the game we are going to press Windows G and we're going to get this app which is the game bar. So we click here on settings, we go down to gaming features and adjust HDR intensity. Okay? So I'm gonna tell you the settings for your TV. If you have an LG C1 or CX that can do up to 800 nits, you're going to set this intensity from 70 to 75. Okay? And that is going to give you this result. I have the comparison here. So we have on 70, the game is going to try to output 758 nits, which I like more because that's very close to the reality. This is very close to the capabilities of this LG C1. But if you feel brave, you can do 75 and that is going to try to output 797 nits. So now if you have an LG uh, G2 that can do 900 to 1000 nits, uh, more, more likely 900, you're going to set that to 90. And what 90 is going to do is going to try to output 928 nits. That's it. That's all you have to do. And how do I know that? Very easily. I go to the game, the reason how... You know, the way I know that is by go to the game and I take a screenshot by pressing Windows, Alt and Print screen at the same time. So I take a screenshot, you, you see a screenshot was taken, then I go to the folder where that screenshot is. I open the screenshot and I am using this app which is called, this app is called uh, HDR WCG image viewer and you can download this app for free on the Microsoft Store so what this app tells me is this maximum estimated uh, you know this is what the game is trying to output which is 797 nits so what I do uh, to get those numbers is basically I just press Windows G I come here to settings gaming features adjust HDR intensity and I change this to let's say uh, 90, 90. Then I I click I click done. I take a screenshot here. The screenshot was taken. Then I go to the folder where the screenshot is. I open that, and I see at 90 the game is trying to push 928 nits. Okay, that's how you do it. It looks phenomenal. The Windows auto HDR for supported games it is phenomenal so when you open the game you're going to see a message that is going to pop on the screen telling you hey your game is gonna be enhanced with auto HDR for supported games this is looking phenomenal this was not working for me before nothing was working <laughs> even when I made my calibration video uh, I showed that this adjust HDR intensity was grayed out and I don't know how to resolve that. This got solved by itself. <laughs> Just by using it, it got solved. So what I did on that calibration video is I showed you how you can change the default that Windows is trying to do. So by going to display uh, settings, you go here to uh, advanced display you will see that by default Windows is trying to output 1500 nits so because I didn't have access to that uh, slider on the game uh, for some reason this uh, adjust HDR intensity was not available what I was showing you on that video was how to change that 1500 nits uh, 
default value to whatever you want by using the CRU app and changing the HDR uh, metadata. But we don't need to do that if that HDR slider works and it is working right now. So if it doesn't work for you, I'm gonna post a link uh, on this video showing you how to change that brightness uh, manually using that CRU app and forget about it. Just use it in that way. So change the brightness with the CRU app, use it in that way. And it seems like Windows is just going to do an update and allow you to, to use this. So after you start using the game bar, it probably you know makes a an auto out, out uh, update and <laughs> it allows you to use it then you know sometimes the computer just have a mind of its own <laughs> so if you have any questions let me know the game is looking absolutely phenomenal it's just incredible <laughs> this is the i can i can say and by the way the video is going to stop because i'm running out of uh memory uh let me turn off uh, black frame insertion because I was using black frame insertion with dynamic tone mapping. Um, yeah, the recording is going to stop uh, at any moment. I'm gonna try to share with you as much as I can before that. Um, so what I'm using here, I was using black frame insertion because you know I am a motion resolution <laughs> fan. This is what I like. Uh, so yeah, HDIG and let me let me get the HDR setting in 70, which is what I like because I don't want any clipping. I want all the shadow, I mean, I want all that highlight detail perfectly visible. And at 70, we are getting uh, this result. At 70, we are getting, let me see if I have it here. Yeah. Let me see if I saved it. Yeah, I don't have it here. At 70, we are getting 753, if I remember correctly. This looks so phenomenal, man. So, of course, you know, I have a 3080 and a 5800 X3D. I'm playing the game at 120 uh, frames, uh, almost locked, very minor drops. I use G-Sync to enjoy HDR. I use G-Sync. I don't use black from insertion. Uh, and I use HGIG. So 120 HDR like this is just awesome, man. It's just the one of the most fluid and awesome experiences I've ever had. You, you watch that, uh, that frame time and the frame rate is so flat, so smooth. This is, you know, the most spectacular gaming experience I've ever had. 100%. This game is just spectacular, man. Amazing. The sound, the music, the graphics, um, everything. It's just phenomenal. So, yeah. And it looks amazing on HDR. And, yeah. I hope you, you know, you can get this uh, result. You get it working. I know Windows sometimes is <laughs> it's just a pain. It was not working for me. Auto HDR for me was broken. It was not working. It was just washed out. It was a mess. But now, my goodness, I can see all the clouds, all the shadow detail, the mid-tones look right. Nothing is blowing out. It's just the beauty, the colors also. The colors are phenomenal. So if we go here to, for example, if we go to this HDMI signaling over right, 1113, 111, we can see that if we change to BT709, the colors change because the color space we are right now is BT2020. So we are on the HDR color space. So Windows is transforming the color space from seven, uh, Rec 709 to uh, BT2020 and it's giving you beautiful color saturation on HDR. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I wanted to do a quick video <laughs> and I end up doing a long one, but I gave you all the information right at the beginning. I know not everyone has time to watch long videos. So if you stay to the end, uh, thank you, <laughs> appreciate you. And you can ask me anything if you still have a question.